So guys, let's go for this very important problem. What is a true statement out of all this? Suppose a particle has returned to its starting point. What is its displacement? As you can easily understand. Give me the board. Let us say the particle started at A and it has gone to B. So, once more from the B it started and came back to A. So, from the starting point to the end point, both of them are same. That is the reason displacement in this case is equal to 0 is what you need to remember. Give me the book. Give me the slide. Is the displacement is independent? No. It's okay. Now, is the displacement, uh, is the slide available? Is independent of the choice of the origin of the axis is a very important question. No. Displacement is dependent on the choice of the origin of the axis. That is what we should discuss. Can you give me the board? <clears throat> so, let us say the origin is at this point and uh, <clears throat> the person moved to this point on the x-axis. So if he moved on the x-axis by about 3 meters, the displacement, the end point and the starting point, it is the reference to these two that we decided that displacement is 3 meters. But if the starting point would have been here on y axis, then the displacement value would have been different. So that is the reason displacement is dependent on the choice of the origin of the axis is what you should basically remember. Now, if you look at the displacement, versus distance. Last time we discussed distance will always be equal to displacement or distance can be more than more than displacement. Tell the other way around. Displacement can be equal to distance or Displacement can be less than distance, but not, but never more than distance. That is what you have to ultimately remember. Give me the slide. Now, let us see this question. If a man goes 10 meters towards north and 20 meters towards east, then what is his displacement? is the question of the examiner. Now, let us see, let us uh, give me the board. Let us see how this man is traveling. He is starting at a point, say A, and he is traveling 10 meters north. And from there, he is traveling to the point C, which is around 20 meters. Now, you are asked to calculate two things. One is, you are asked to calculate what is the distance and what is the displacement. What is the displacement? Very easy question. 10 meters plus 20 meters is equal to 30 meters is the distance. And what is the displacement? It is typically between A to C is the 
displacement. So how do you get the value of the A to C? It is the square root of A, this is B, A B square plus B C square. Now tell me what is A B? A B is 10. So it is 10 square plus 20 square. So what is 10 square? 10 square is 100 plus 20 square is 400 and that is the reason it is equivalent to square root of 500 which is equivalent to 22.5 meters is a displacement it is uh, what you should remember. So that is the reason what is the answer give me the board 22.5 meters is the answer. Now let us take up the next question. There is a drunkard, the one who is drunkard, he will walk forward, he will walk backward, he will walk forward, he will walk backward. Examiner enjoys setting up questions like this. So he is walking in a straight road, he takes 5 steps forward and 3 steps backward. And in each step he is taking 1 meter long. And this one meter long is taking one second. One step dalne ke liye one second ka vakt lag raha hai. And there is a pit on the road around 11 meters away from his starting point. So, after how much period of time the drunkard will fall in that pit? Very easy question. Very interesting question provided. Can you give me the board please? You understand the simple logic, apply the common sense. Tomorrow as a doctor, what are you going to have in abundance? Common sense is more important. Love for the patient is important to become a doctor. You don't need to know a lot of science. So to do physics, to do maths, to become a doctor, first forget the fear. Just like swimming. To swim well, you should forget the fear of water. Okay. So, Hamare Daru Wala Kaha hai? He is at the point A and he is walking towards the point B. Point B ke paas kya hai? Pit hai. And we want to know whether he will fall in that pit or not. And the distance between A to point B is 11 meters. Now, what did the, the examiner ask? Said, for every 5 meters he walks forward, he takes 3 meters backward. So that how much he is progressing? He is progressing 2 meters. So it is like uh, when you are reading botany, you are reading geology, you are reading so much physics. If you read two chapters, if you are forgetting one chapter, similar situation and need to use the exam is like the pit waiting for you. Okay. So now, without turning backward, how many meters this man can walk? He takes 5 meters without turning back. So that means this is 11 meters long. There is one point which is called as C. From here, without turning back, he will walk 5 meters and fall into the pit. So, if this is 5 meters, how much is this distance? 6 meters. Forever enough. A pura 11 meters hai. Yaha se yaha ko 5 meters hai to yaha se yaha ka kitna hoga. 6 meters, no tension. Now, to walk this 5 meters, how much time does he take? Every meter, one second. So, five meters he will take five seconds. Now, here, how does he walk? He walks five, goes back three. He walks five, goes back three. He walks five, goes back three. So, every time, how much progress forward direction he is making? Two meters. 
So he need to go two meters progress, two meters progress, two meters progress, two meters, two meters, two meters. How will he do this? For uh, getting two meters progress, he has to walk five meters forward, come back three meters. Five meters forward, come back three meters. Five meters forward, come back three meters. Michael Jackson Malumena, like that. He is going forward, he is going backward. So, 5 meters plus 3 meters is totally 8 meters. Harek meter ke liye, how much time he is taking? 1 second. So, to walk 8 meters, 5 meters forward, 3 meters backward, he takes 8 seconds. So, how many such 8 seconds should elapse for every 2 meter progress? Three times it should elapse. So eight second plus eight second plus eight second. Oh yeah, twenty four seconds. And yahan ke five seconds add karo. Oh yeah, twenty nine seconds. And by twenty nine seconds, he will fall into the pit, and you get one mark in the UG exam. Give me the board. Give me the slide. So, answer is B, which is 29 seconds is what you are going to remember. Now, give me the slide. <clears throat> the three initial and final positions of a man on the x-axis are given to you. Minus 3 meters, 7 meters. Another person, 7 meters, minus 3 meters. And another person, minus 7 meters and 3 meters. Now the question is asked, which pair, there is a negative displacement. Negative displacement is the important question. Now let us crack this question. Given the board. <clears throat> so, what is displacement? What is displacement? Displacement hota hai, bullamath. Final position minus initial position is called as displacement. Tension nahi hai. First situation. The coordinates of the person are minus 3 meters and 7 meters. Is my final position kya hai? 7 meters hai. So, displacement kya hai yaha? 7 meters minus minus of 3 meters minus into minus plus is 10 meters is the displacement and what is the second situation 7 meters comma 3 meters so we final position kya hai below 3 meters minus 7 meters. So minus 3 minus 7 is equal to minus 10 meters. answer. This is the displacement which has got a negative value. Then what is the third position without a day? You have minus 7 meters, comma, minus 7 meters, comma, 3 meters. So Final position is 3 minus, minus of minus 7 meters, which is equal to plus 10 meters. So, third situation, positive displacement. First situation, positive displacement. Our second situation, okay, negative displacement. So, give me the slide. So, you should remember that. The one which has got a negative displacement is situation number two. Now, let us take few statements and try to debate what is right and what is wrong. A particle is moving in a direction with a non-zero velocity can still have the zero speed. A satya hai ya asatya hai. 
ये असत्य ही होता है क्यों इट इज हैविंग ए नॉन जीरो वेलोसिटी नॉन जीरो वेलोसिटी सो इफ द वेलोस व्हाट इज वेलोसिटी वेलोसिटी इज ए स्पीड विथ द डायरेक्शन सो ऑलरेडी वेलोसिटी इफ इट इज नॉट ए जीरो हाउ कैन स्पीड बी जीरो सो दैट इज द रीजन ये असत्यवाद है can you give me the slide you are on slide yeah now the magnitude of the average velocity will be equal to the average speed kaise ho sakta average velocity jo cheez hota hai displacement by time hota right then as average speed jo hota hai it is the uh, फाइनल डिस्टेंस माइनस इनिशियल डिस्टेंस डिवाइडेड बाई टाइम होता है सो इफ द फाइनल डिस्टेंस कैन बी ए पॉजिटिव वैल्यू बट फाइनल डिस्प्लेसमेंट कैन बी ए जीरो वैल्यू सो दट इज अ रीजन एवरेज वेलॉसिटी एंड एवरेज स्पीड विल नॉट हैव द सेम मैग्नेट्यूड आई विल वंस मोर एक्सप्लेन गिव इन द बोल सो अभी चाय पे चर्चा किसके बारे में हो रहा है साथियों आप याद रखना एवरेज वेलोसिटी इज इट सेम एज एवरेज स्पीड ऑलवेज प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट ऑलवेज ए ऑलवेज इज समथिंग दैट किल्स अवर पीस इफ समबडी से आई विल ऑलवेज लव यू एंड आई विल बी ऑन द साइड ऑफ यू इज इट पॉसिबल वेरी 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 डिफिकल्ट so always ka questions jo hota hai na you have to be very very careful now let us say i started here point a i went to point b which is around 10 meters away once more i started from there and reached the point a so what is my distance travel 10 plus 10 20 meters divided by let us say i took around 20 seconds to do this so wo ban gaya divided by 20 seconds that is equal to 1 meter per second then if you look at the this is speed now if you look at the velocity in this case what is the displacement displacement by time distance by time speed is distance by time velocity is displacement by time in this case i started it a aur fir aa gaya main a ke pass isliye mera displacement hai zero divided by 20 seconds so that is the reason it is 0 meters per second so that is the reason the magnitude of the average velocity is not always equal to the average speed is what you have to basically remember now if i say another statement in general speed is greater than the magnitude of the velocity such hai ya asatya hai speed can be equal to velocity or speed can be greater than velocity ye satya hai ye bhi asatya ye bhi satya hai kyun speed kiske upar depend hai depend hota hai bhai distance ke upar velocity is dependent on what displacement so just before we discuss distance can be equal to displacement ho sakta hai इसलिए स्पीड कैन बी इक्वल टू वेलोसिटी वो भी सत्य मगर डिस्प्लेसमेंट कैन बी लेस देन डिस्टेंस इट कैन नेवर बी मोर देन डिस्टेंस दैट इज द रीजन वेलोसिटी कैन बी लेस देन स्पीड बट कैन नेवर बी मोर देन स्पीड दैट इज व्हाट यू हैव टू बेसिकली रिमेंबर नाउ लेट अस लुक एट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कैन यू गिव मी द स्लाइड A car is moving along a straight line OP, which is being shown to you in the figure. 
it moves from O to P in about 18 seconds and it returns from P to Q in 6 seconds. Then what are the true statements with, re with uh, regard to average speed of the car in going from O to P and coming back to Q? And what is the average velocity in going from O to P and come back to Q? And what is the average speed from O to P and come back to O? And what is the average velocity to go to O to P and come back to O? Iske bare mein hum lagatar chitta karenge. Can you give me the board? <coughs> Very simple hai Arun. Abhi tak you might have understood uh, that physics is the easiest subject on the planet Earth if you use the brains, right? And common sense. Let us say this man has started at O and reached P. And what is the distance from O to P that the examiner has uh, um, given to you? The examiner has given to you that the distance from O to P is 360 meters and uh, from O to Q is 240 meters. Now, so you have a point in the middle which is called as Q. So O to Q is basically 240 meters. Whereas the O to P is how much? 300 and uh, you have uh, 360 meters. 360 meters. Now, if you look at the average speed of the car, average speed of the car from going from O to P and come back from P to Q. P to Q. Pella, how much distance did it travel in this process? From O to P, it has traveled 360 meters. Whatever, right? Plus, from P to Q, from P to Q, from O to P, Q, it is 240 meters. This distance is 240 meters. So obviously this distance should be 120 meters. Right? So 360 plus 120 meters is equal to 480 meters of distance it travelled. And how much time did it take? From O to P, it took 18 seconds. And uh, it took uh, 6 seconds from P to Q. So totally how many seconds it took? 18 plus 6 is equal to total time is time is 18 plus 6 which is equivalent to 24 seconds. So the average speed get down here. What up and below? 480 divided by 24 is equal to 20 meters per second. Bangaya. Average speed to go from O to P and come back to P to Q is what you have to remember. Then the second part of the problem, what the examiner is asking is for the same motion, what is the Average velocity from where to where from O to P and coming back to P to Q. So for the velocity, what is the numerator? What up at below? Displacement is a numerator divided by time. Tension na kulina. Right? So a displacement kitna ho gaya? A moment ke wajay se. The starting point is O, ending point is Q. So between the two, what is the distance? It is 200 and 
40 meters examiner gave you so that is equivalent to 240 divided by the total time taken same time 18 seconds to go from here to here and to come here 6 seconds so divided by 24 seconds that is equal to 10 meters per second ho gaya average velocity is what you should remember now what is the third situation which we should look into what is the average speed if this person has traveled from O to P and came back from P to O, O to P and then came back from P to O. Is me total distance lete or displacement lete? Distance lena. Kabi bhi speed bole to distance lena. Distance man me rakna. So, kitna ho gaya? So, this is 240, 120. So, either say either 360, fir either say either 360 ho gaya. So, that is the reason it has become 360 plus 360 is equal to 720 meters ho gaya hai. The distance travel. And how much time does he take? From here to here 18 seconds, from here to here he takes 18 seconds totally. 36 seconds ho gaya. So, that is the reason. What is the average speed that is equivalent to 20 meters per second ho gaya average speed Barabar? now let us look into the fourth situation which you should not forget what is the average velocity for the same journey o to p p to o this is very easy Velocity kis ke upar depend hota hai? Sajjano, Deviyo, aap yaad rakna, starting point to ending point ka discrepancy ko bolte hai displacement. So, velocity depends upon displacement by time. Ya displacement kitna ho gaya? Starting point ko fir ra gaya ho. Right? Isliye displacement is 0 divided by total time taken is 18 seconds here, 18 seconds here, which is 36 seconds. Isliye average velocity ho gaya 0 meters per second in this last situation. Very easy. So, tomorrow when you join med medical college, if you apply logic, in your everyday studies, you will become a good doctor. Patient comes with pain. Patient comes with fever. Patient comes with a lot of problems. Unless you are ready to apply the common sense. So physics, mathematics give you an opportunity to develop this common sense in abundance. Give me the uh, slide. What is the area? Under the velocity time graph for a particle in a given interval of time, what does it represent basically? The area under the velocity time graph for a particle, will it represent velocity or acceleration or displacement? Very easy question. So basically, let us assume a car is accelerating. Give me the board. A car Always graph bole to y axis x axis ho gaya hai na? Now a car is accelerating steadily from let us say this is y axis mein meters per second hai x axis mein time hai ok time is on the x axis it is accelerating steadily from a zero velocity to reach a 20 meters per second velocity arrow and to reach that point it took around 5 seconds 5 second ka kaha hai point yaha hai 20 meters per second ka yaha hai so from here to here brrrr bolke chale gaya ho aur yaha 
के पॉइंट को रीच हो गया सो so, रीच हुए तो वेलोसिटी कितना बन गया 20 बन गया और कितना देर लगा पांच सेकेंड लगा है ना सो so, इसका एक्सेलरेशन क्या हो गया एक्सेलरेशन एक्सेलरेशन इज इक्वल टू 20 डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव विच इज अबाउट फोर मीटर्स पर सेकेंड स्क्वेर इज वॉट यू शुड रिमेम्बर नाउ इफ यू लुक एट द एरिया ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल ट्राइंगल कहा है क्या है सो दिस इज द ट्राइंगल दट वी नीड टू कंसिडर दिस इज द हाइट ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल ट्वेंटी मीटर्स and the base of the triangle is फाइव seconds और ये जो area है ना so if you can calculate the area of this triangle it will give you what is the distance it ट्रेवल्ड in this फाइव seconds फटाफट बोलो हम एथ क्लास में क्या पढ़े थे right so what did we study in uh, uh, Eighth class, we have studied that the area of a triangle is equal to base plus height. Base plus height divided by two, or is it base into height? It is base into height divided by two. Iska base kitna ho gaya? Five into. Iska height kitna ho gaya? Twenty divided by two karo is equal to hundred by two is equal to fifty. Fifty meters is the distance travelled in this five seconds, where end of the five seconds it reached a velocity of twenty meters per second, and in the process. its acceleration is 4 meters per second square and you are able to get the distance by calculating the area of this triangle which triangle the triangle that has been formed on the velocity over time graph y axis is velocity and time is on the x axis so give me the slide so tomorrow's exam what are you going to answer the area under the velocity time graph for a particle it represents the displacement is what you have to remember now let's take the next question a cyclist is moving in a circular track of radius 40 meters and he completes half of the revolution in 40 seconds what is his average velocity now you are all experts Give it a ball. So a cyclist chakkar mar raha hai. कैसे चक्कर मार रहे हैं? Circular path में चक्कर मार रहे हैं. Starting point ये है. Opposite point is B है. Center यहाँ है. This is the radius. And the radius is being given to you. How much is the radius? so the radius was given to be 40 meters so 40 meters is the radius and uh, he went from a to b this point so what is the total distance he traveled in this process total displacement kitna ho gaya 40 plus 40 80 meters ho gaya and how much time did he take to reach this point he took 40 seconds to reach this point so that is the reason what is the average velocity is the important question the average velocity is 80 meters divided by 40 seconds is equal to 2 meters per second ho gaya unka average velocity give me the uh, slide so the answer is 2 meters per second is what you should remember now this is a very interesting question 
the position of an object moving along the x axis is given by x is equal to a plus bt square where a is 8.5 b is 2.5 meters per second square and t is measured in seconds so what is the average velocity of the object between the point t is equal to 2 seconds and the point t is equal to 4 seconds is the question of the examiner now uh, for this you should uh, understand that give me the board average velocity hota hai what is your displacement at a given point uh, now let us take something started at a reached b okay so from a to b let us say he took 10 seconds but at 2 seconds he is at some distance and that some distance is called s2 and uh, at t is equal to 4 seconds he is at another distance let us call that distance as s4 so average velocity hota hai average velocity is displacement at fourth second s4 minus displacement at second second that is s2 divided by the time taken to reach the um, the, the time difference that is t4 minus t2 so already we know t4 is fourth second t2 is second second so easily s4 minus s1 divided by 2 is where we are going to get the answer now how do you get s4 is a very important question now this is moving along the x axis and the distance traveled by it on the x axis has been given by the equation which is already defined what is that equation x is equal to a plus bt square and already examiner gave you what is a a is 8.5 meters Examiner gave you B, B is equal to 2.5 meters per second square. So just you try to uh, replace the values. So X is equal to A hota hai 8.5 plus B hota hai 2.5 T square is equal to X. Abhi First situation, S4, how will you calculate? X is nothing but the distance traveled in reference to the time. So let us assume fourth second. So kya ho gaya? We are trying to calculate S4, S4. So X is equal to 8.5 plus 2.5 T square aage hai na? So S4 kitna hota hai? That is the distance, the displacement at the fourth second. It is 8.5 plus 2.5 into 4 square ho gaya. And uh, that is equal to 8.5 plus 2.5 into 16 ho gaya. So, how much is 16 into 2.5? 16 to the 32, 16 to the into 0.5 is 8. So 40. So this has become 48.5 ho gaya. Barabar. Now what is S2? Similar way you calculate S2 kya hota hai? S2 hota hai. Same formula. 8.5 plus 2.5 into 2 square ho gaya. So 2 square is equal to 4. 4 into 2.5 is 10. 10 plus 8.5 is 18.5. Oh, yeah. So, what is S4 minus S2? S4 minus S2 in the numerator. S4 minus S2 in the numerator. Kya ho gaya? 
48.5 minus 18.5 divided by 2. 48.5 minus 18.5 kitna ho gaya? Fada fad bolo. 30 divided by 2. That is equal to 15 meters per second is the answer. So give it a slide. So where do you have 15 meters per second? Option C. Very easy. So like this, every day you should solve 100 questions with Dr. Murli Bharadwaj. Dekhte, dekhte, 60 days mein, we will finish 6,000 questions, which were all the questions and problems asked in the last 15 years of uh, MBBS entrance exam. Ames lelo, Jipmar lelo, All India lelo, koi bhi exam lelo. The moment your concepts are good, you can go with your head held high to face the examiner and jo jita, oh he sikandar. So please be stay tuned with uh, the YouTube channel of Pre-Medico and uh, we will take you in the path of excellence. Thank you.